you know, seeing something for the first time that nobody else has seen that really gives me a huge buzz and gives a lot of the people that I work with still a huge buzz. I mean, you know, years ago, I remember realizing that when you open an orange, nobody has seen the inside of that orange before. And it's a very simple thing to consider, but that is true. And isn't that extraordinary? Of the people that I've worked with, the ones that have always been the most rewarding to work with and have got the most satisfaction out of their work are people who have a natural curiosity. And so I think the conventional view of science doesn't really appreciate the level of creativity that there is. They, people sort of get stuck on the rules part. And in my view, the rules part are absolutely essential early training or the, or the grammar of science. But, but once you have that training, then you're really free to be creative and uh, to have a curiosity and to always, you know, say in every experiment that you do to keep, we might say one sample, so you've 10 samples. So one sample is the what if sample, you know, I wonder if I combined this and that. Uh, what would happen, what would be the outcome. And I think without that curiosity, it would not be a very rewarding career. The first science class I had in secondary school, I had a teacher who pointed out the periodic table of the elements to us. Now, in those days, it was a long time ago, there were 103 elements then, there are a lot more now. And what I could not believe was when she told us that everything in the whole world was composed of these 103 substances and that there was nothing else. And suddenly when you're 12 or 13, the world is suddenly refined so fast and simplified. And I suppose that's really what drives me is trying to reduce really complex issues to really simple ones. So sort of to break, it to break things down into their component parts and then reassemble them maybe better or differently. And that's really, I actually that teacher on the periodic table was probably the turning point. Up till then I'd been a history type. But that was the change.